today I want to show you how to reorient your parts with respect to the global coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS. There are many reasons that you may want to do this. One reason is that you might want to align the global coordinate system with a downstream piece of equipment like a CNC mill. My goal with this part is to line up the piston cylinder along the z-axis and also to update the standard views to reflect that z is in the up direction. There are many ways to do this. One might be to adjust the initial sketch plane by right-clicking on the sketch under the first feature and going to Edit Sketch Plane. From here, I can select a different sketch plane, for example, the top plane, and hit Check. However, this is going to provide us with some errors. Many of the downstream features rely on that first sketch in order to be generated. And when the first sketch is moved, those references are lost. So this may not be the best solution. Instead, we can try adding new reference geometry, for example, a coordinate system. This coordinate system can be used when we export our model. I can select the different entities in this sketch to represent different axes, for example, the X and the Z axis. This allows me to create a coordinate system where Z is up, and it also uh, is in the appropriate direction with respect to the cylinder of the piston. However, it doesn't change my geometry with regard to the global coordinate system. If I want to do that, I need to go to Insert, Features, and Move Copy. I select the body that I want to move or copy, and then I can translate or rotate it using these drag handles, or simply add the parametric value. Now my cylinder is lined up with the global coordinate system in the Z direction, but the Z direction isn't up. To change that, I need to start with initial plane, let's say the front plane, and go normal to that plane. Then I can hit the space bar, and choose Update Standard Views. When I do this, it asks me for a view to change the current one to. I'll choose Top. It'll confirm with a dialog. And now when I go to my isometric view, we'll notice that the Z is in the up direction, and it is still aligned with the cylinder of my piston.